Morning everybody, Friday again. So today I'm going to do a traditional bread and butter pudding and it's a great way of using up leftover bread. So for this I've cut up into triangles, I've about nine slices, eight to nine slices of uh, bread, butter them, cut off the crusts and cut them into triangles. Mm. So into my dish, uh, I've greased a little Pyrex dish there. I'm going to start layering up my uh, bread just randomly around the dish like this. And <clears throat> before this, uh, what I did with my, my mixed fruit was I soaked it in boiling water, the zest and rind of an orange and poured on some boiling water and left it for about an hour. And what that does is it plumps up the fruit and makes it nice and soft. So I have my dish layered up like this and into that I'm just going to add some of my, my fruit, my sultanas and the mixed fruit that's there. And just pour it over like that, sprinkle it on. And into this I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg. No, it depends on how much you like, but I just put a little sprinkle. Then you go on to the next layer and do exactly the same thing. So this bread and butter pudding is a very old fashioned recipe, but very tasty, served with some custard, or even if you want a little bit of cream. So that's my second layer done here. And I'm going to do the same thing again. My sprinkle of fruit and this is such a quick dish for a, a cold winter's day lovely dessert sprinkle of nutmeg again and we're on to our third layer which is the top layer and we don't put any more fruit on the top of that because it, it tends to burn so we'll just sprinkle the last layer with a little bit of nutmeg again. And if you like a little bit of sugar on top of that, just to make it a little bit more sweet, then you can do that. So I'll just show you that now. So that's your bread and butter pudding ready and layered up. So in my jug, I have 250 mils of milk, 100 ml of cream, and about two and a half ounces of sugar and three eggs. So all into the jug, just give them a quick mix around with the fork to make sure that all the ingredients are bound together. And it'll be like a kind of a yellowy color at this stage. So all I'm going to do now To pour this in on top of my bread and the mixture will come up to approximately the top of the dish. Um, now you'll notice that it actually soaks into the bread. That's perfectly fine. So here we have our beautiful bread and butter pudding ready to go into the oven. 180 degrees, which is about gas mark, four to five, for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's lovely and golden on the top. Serve that with a nice bowl of custard and you'll be set for the day. See you soon.